music. Like everything's like really low key and yeah. there's no percussion. Like you're in battle. Like shouldn't I be more excited? <laughs> I think Can you do that? I'm pretty sure you can just <laughs> Kids these days. Yeah, goddamn kids these days. That's the name of this web series. Kids these days. We talk about video games and how they used to be compared to how they are now. Not that they're not awesome now, but they used to be like really awesome. That's true. All of that is true. So that's the thing, I mean I I feel like Kids these days don't appreciate uh, gameplay as much as they used to. Because back when you only had 8 bits for <laughs> graphics, you had to have gameplay. Otherwise, you're just staring at a screen like a bunch of dots moving around on a screen. Right. You, know? you had to have a story, too. And I won't, I mean, well, I'm not even going to pretend Super Mario to say... Brothers did not have a story. You had to say the princess. That's it. That's not a story. It was compelling when I was five. It's still compelling. People, yeah. I'll play that that game all day just because I've never fucking beaten it. Fair enough. I will play Sonic the Hedgehog, and that has no story. That has a story. Yeah. Doctor Robotnik um, is there, and you got to beat him up, <laughs> and you have to become Super Sonic with the, the Chaos Emeralds. But basically, you just have to run through a screen and collect rings. Yeah. And that's what yeah, same rules. Every time you get 50 rings, you turn into supersonic and you just wreck everyone's day. That's and it's right. awesome. Oh, it's totally yeah. worth it. I'll pl- I'll, I, I do it. Like, I'll sit there and I'll get 50 rings. I'll be very meticulous for like, the first... <laughs> very beginning of for, the level. For the first three or four levels, just to get all of the emeralds and just blow through the rest of the game. Because then you get 50 rings and you literally, like, you don't even have to pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you just go. You can fly across the screen and kill everything and get all the rings. Which was so different from the ones, like, I don't, I don't know what Sonic games are coming out with now because the last Sonic game I played when it was new was, like, Sonic Adventure Battle 2, which was amazing. And I had so many little chaos. What was the one from for Dreamcast? I'm not sure, like, what the deal was with that. I mean, I thought it was alright. I think it might maybe like, the fucking controller that was the size of a small television. And that's why I don't want a Wii U, but that's a different story for a different day. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the one that was for Dream was Sonic Adventure, right? The first one? Mm-hmm. And the first thing was Sonic Adventure. Neat. I thought those yeah. were cool. There was Sonic Adventure 2, and there was Sonic Adventure Battle. Okay. And there was Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Um... I think you get Sonic Adventure Battle on um, the Xbox 360 arcade now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is weird because they were on the GameCube. That doesn't make any sense. I do. <laughs> you get a Sonic and you yeah. get a Sonic. Everybody well, how gets that? a Sonic. Ninja Turtles arcade game on there. I had the X-Men arcade game. Yeah. And yeah, there are specific ones, but at the same time, there's just like a bunch of old games you wanted to play. Like yeah. Like Sonic. Just hey, you got an Xbox, I got five bucks and an internet connection. Yeah. Let's make this happen. Have you seen those those consoles you can buy that'll play, like, Genesis cartridges? Yeah. And uh-huh. NES cartridges and, and I kind of feel cartridges. like I'm morally okay with that since <laughs> they're not making anything that plays. It's not like I went out and bought a cheap Xbox 360. Yeah. I went out and bought a system that will play all the games I already if have. If you already have them, exactly. Yeah, I can't really feel bad about that because nobody's losing money. Nobody's like, nobody's 401k. Yeah, the well, toilet, that's not the thing. They're not, Genesis. they're not still <laughs> producing the cartridges. They're not still producing any of the stuff. Yeah. They'd be like someone like building a television. Cool. It's, I, it's gotta be like what? Three you know capacitors what, and a no, diode here's the and thing. that's an Atari. People are doing that already though. I think they've licensed the Atari game to some the Atari name to someone because I know through Avon I bought <sighs> it was just a little joystick. Yeah, you just and it had a button on the, the top and a button on the bottom, yeah, and you plugged it in the TV. It had Pong, it had yeah. Adventure, it had Asteroid. Because well, if you think about it, those things those games like took up like 12 no bits. Yeah. Not even bites. Bits. Bits, yeah. <laughs> Basically, well, they, There's went, one they bit went to for the, the ball. moon on less, so yeah. don't hate. Well, think about it. The ball was like one bit, and then like each paddle was like four or five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, score. I forgot you had to keep score. And there were no physics like at all. It was just like, uh, go snip it in. Yeah. They yeah. had them on like a three and a half inch floppy disk. <laughs> uh-huh. You could get it, like I got one at like 
like a pharmacy for a dollar or something like that when I was a kid and I used to play it and there was like a little map in the corner and there was a, a like actually a screen in front of you where like you were walking down the corridor of this dungeon Do and there you, you could see a monster door. down there. Yes or no. You go this way and then like there's a map and you could go up and buy shit from a store or something like that. I had speaking of three and a half inch floppies, I had a game, it was a Doom ripoff, but it was better than Doom. And if I get flack for saying that I'll take it. But this game it was on I don't know if I can do this show with you anymore. I'm sorry, it was on <laughs> nine three and a half inch floppies. Jesus. Nine of them. It was like it, it was hours and hours and hours long, though. It was called Doc, The Island of Dr. Radiaki. And that sounds familiar. It was really cool. It basically was Doom, except that instead of fighting aliens, you're fighting these, like, mutated creatures. Like, Dr. Radiaki is... He makes everything. He makes, like, vacuums and toasters and this and that. And I think he's making, like, nuclear weapons oh, now. Oh, sweet. Yeah, like, he's like, this you giant can. conglomerate thing. Because really just... Wolfenstein 3D, which was the first first-person shooter... And Spear of Destiny, which is like a sequel, there was like, I mean, there were doors and stuff. It was like a maze. Like, uh -huh. you ever see that screensaver? Yeah, the maze, that's it was, exactly what it looked like. That was Wolfenstein okay, 3D. Okay, there you go. Because Doom was the first one that had like multiple levels, and like there's a guy up there, and you could walk up the stairs and shoot him. I think it might have been all. Or you could like fall that, off so. into like a pit of acid. I remember acid. they were teleporters. We had like Windows three point one. This thing. Oh right? yeah, maybe, dude. I used to maybe run that. Windows ninety five. I had one of those little shoot 'em ups with the little planes that fly around and yes. you shoot stuff. I don't floppy. And I too. think by the time I was like old enough to figure out like what I was supposed to be doing, because my mom would always play, because my mom was in her early thirties oh, at that yeah. point, so she was still like a kid basically, and I think we lost like this six out oh, of nine. No. It was like. You don't understand. All I want to do with my life is finish Dr. Radiaki. I'm 12 now. I have a computer. I'm like, Windows 98. Yeah. I want to play this game. Windows and 95. Could not, could not. For those of you <laughs> who weren't born yet, <laughs> Windows 95 was an operating system for the PC. <laughs> you had to tab a lot. <laughs> you had to tab to everything. You were lucky if you had a mouse. See, yeah, 3.1 was the last one that looked like it did. Yes. And the 95 was like... You had an interface. Yeah. I was the like, what am I doing? The 95 interface was like the first one of that like you would recognize now. Yeah. It's pretty much... It, pretty, it hasn't changed if a whole lot If you can use Windows then. 7, you can use Windows 95. Yeah. Except you'll be like, where are all the colors at? Yeah. <laughs> so we had like an awesome processor, and I think we could turn it up to 32 bits of color. And oh, I was like shit. super 256 excited. colors. I remember oh, the first yeah. time I saw that, I was like, oh my god, this looks oh, so real. Look at all the text art I'm making in Word. Yeah. Oh man, I had a uh, <laughs> Apple IIe oh, when man, I was that's a kid fantastic. with the built-in, the 5, what is it, the 5-inch? Five inch, yeah, five inch. Oh no, it had a built-in three and a half, and we had a five, five inch one oh, side on the side that we could neat. plug in. It was a coloring book. But for those of you that aren't aware, the Apple IIe was black and white, <laughs> <laughs> and I had a coloring book. Oh my god, program. You could print it out on your dot matrix printer, yeah. right? And it was like different shades of gray. Well, I yeah, there were I different shades of gray that. and different patterns, and then there was white and black. Yeah, I remember I used to do that. I would print it out, like, I would color it in on the computer, like, really meticulously with yeah. my little mouse with one button on it that I was really confused about because I'd never had an Apple before. Yeah. And I would color it in, color it, I'd print it out on my dot matrix printer, and it would go, because that's exactly what they sound like. Yeah. And then I would color it in with crayons and give them to my yeah, mom. Yeah, you like, could do that. Why did I do this I twice? never thought about why doing I... that before, just, like, not coloring it in at all, just print it out and color it. That's what I did. <laughs> Completely I used to, just, like, make my own coloring. Having... I remember coloring pictures of, like, fish and yeah. stuff. It was awesome. It, it would just nudge itself every time, and it would fill the entire screen just solid. <laughs> but it would take, like, ten minutes. So you just type in, like, a few commands and then it was like 10 minutes later like you couldn't oh, do anything sweet. either because the computer oh, was so yeah. old it could only do one thing at a one time, thing at a time. so we're like hey teacher I, I don't know what i did but it's it's going crazy and then you'd have to wait you just sit there like an idiot <laughs> anyway uh, anyway thanks for watching um i hope you either reminisce or learn something you didn't know. yeah because kids these days don't know this kind of stuff they need to you should go ask your parents for like, ask, an apple too go ask your parents it's gonna cost them like 20 bucks. Yeah. Tune in next time. Um, check out our other show, Science. Um, check out Nevermore the series. Check out everything else that we're putting together right now on the Sinister Dream Internet TV channel.
Once you're done Wikipediaing everything we've just talked about. Yeah. Like, these guys are fucking assholes. They're lying. They're so old!